welcome all as we wait for the start of a match amongst the most anticipated fixtures over the course of the entire season. A day certainly not for the faint-hearted, it is yet another edition of this long-standing conflict between two sides engaged in a never-ending rivalry. One that never has and never will lose its intensity no matter what the context, no matter how many times these two clubs meet. And the matchday noise at this place is truly special, the pride, the passion. It adds to a massive sense of occasion. Jim, this one always matters. Well, we never really did friendly derbies, not when I was playing Peter. But it, it's impossible to keep rivalries in check, completely in check. So while I'm not expecting everything to go flying at 100 miles an hour, this could get spicy. Well, if you did just miss it, we are up and running already. Jim, which player is best equipped for this game? This guy, Declan Rice, is a player I really rate. Uh, with him, you get exactly what it says on the box. Uh, a workhorse defensive midfielder who... Well, a very, very warm welcome to you on what is, of course, a truly special day in this part of the world. It is Derby Day. A rivalry so deeply entrenched into the history of sport in this land. It divides opinions, it divides families, it divides just about anything that can be divided. The game itself lasts just 90 minutes, but its repercussions can be felt for months and years ahead. This place is living up to its reputation as one of the noisiest corners of the footballing world. No decibels spared in this collective chorus. circumstances but you feel the rivalry well I think we know what we're in for whatever the circumstances that exist when these two meet losing really isn't an option making this another intense feisty clash which should keep everyone on edge the fans are more nervous than the players to me confirming an atmosphere of, of angst try telling them there's nothing riding on this just joining us, we are already on the way. Jim, who do you reckon is pivotal? Well, Peter, I've always liked this guy, Jordan Henderson. Uh, someone who has had unrealistic expectations to live up to, but his athleticism, his improved passing, the fact that he's become more adventurous has definitely made him a much better player, and all underpinned by a great desire and real commitment. I'm thinking the same. He will be a central feature, no doubt. Berghaus. Yeah, this kind of bold running will always get you into areas of possibility. Martins Indy can get it clear. And he's in on goal. Robbie! Goal! Ajax! And Ajax take the lead! Well, good evening to you and welcome on this most perfect evening for a game of football to which we look forward immensely. It's hardly a surprise that everybody has come here in their droves, this being a fixture that has received so much coverage in the days leading up to it. And it's good to see that we have a good contingent of visiting fans by the look of it too. The atmosphere is amicable, the conditions do bring out the best in everyone, and I think we're all looking forward to a feel-good game. And we have in front of us this gloriously imposing arena, absolutely perfect for a game of this nature. And already we're on the way here. And he's forced to go back. Could move up a gear here. That's a terrific surge down the right. Safety. Massive leap! Oh, not the best of headers. All he'd be thinking. 
thinking is, please, ground, swallow me up. Well, hello and welcome to what amounts to football heaven. It doesn't get a whole lot better than this. The conditions utopian, the sun is high in the sky. It's a truly beautiful afternoon, and the crowd reflect that. Their faces hopeful, their smiles beaming, levels of excitement and expectation are soaring, and you get the feeling that this could be a very special occasion indeed. And we have in front of us this gloriously imposing arena, absolutely perfect for a game of this nature. We have already started here. Well, he had a really good run at goal there, but the defence just weren't going to let him past. And he's in on goal. Stens. Yet another to add to football's endless list of could-haves and should-haves. Ah, quality deserted them when they really needed it. loose and there's a race for the ball he was berating his defense well hello and welcome to what amounts to football heaven it doesn't get a whole lot better than this the conditions utopian the sun is high in the sky it's a truly beautiful afternoon and the crowd reflect that their faces hopeful their smiles beaming levels of excitement and expectation are soaring and you get the feeling that this could be a very special occasion indeed well the pre-match build-up has been fantastic now the game itself been told this is how it looks it's a 4-3-3 yes and the importance of this formation is not to allow the midfield three and the attacking three to become too detached from one another if that happens then pressure can quickly be applied via the counter-attack and you can be exposed defensively so compactness can't be compromised and you need talkers in this team you need leaders and people that are willing to organize things very quickly Ready, we're on the way here. And that is as far as they're gonna go. Oh lovely bit of skill. Knocks it away. Defenders on the back foot. Well, it didn't look good for a while, but that was brave defending, and they got away with it. You know, it was an intervention that had to be made. Serious trouble lay in store. Well, Red, nice interception. Lukumi. It's good movement we're getting from that front line. Very flexible. They're yeah, really easy on the eye, too, yeah? Very much so. It adds more variety to their attack and, and asks more questions of, of that defence.